still on you. Ferretto! Ferretto! Hey there, hi there, ho there. Hello there. My name's Adam. Welcome back to the channel Caputi Inc. Today we're working on a... Water tank. Water tank. Uh, this is a 200 gallon tank off some sort of uh, planter or piece of farm equipment and we're going to make it suit our needs. We're going to use it to water down small projects. Uh, we need it for things. Are you okay? She's okay. Uh, we're going to use it to water down things and it'll be a water supply for when we're doing paving. So uh, we're going to build a frame for it, plumb it, and we also have a T and a quick connect so it can be versatile. So let's get kicking. All right, we're in the shop. Peep that little frame I started putting together. Um, we got some, I do believe it's four by six square tubing that I had just laying around. Uh, here's some three and a half inch square that I got uh, for another project. This is just left over and it ends up working out. These are gonna land right on the bottom of the tank for support. And they will also offer a place for the sports to slide in and make sure we don't hit any piping or anything hopefully. So we're going to weld this sucker up and then uh, we'll get the tank set on top of there. We'll figure out how we're going to do it. I think it's going to get ratchet strapped and then we will start doing the piping. Let's get, uh, let's get to it. A little Mario, a little Mario and Luigi action when it comes to the plumbing, you know. It's me, Adam and Andy. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. We're on Andy Cam, so uh, we got the bottom side welded up. We're going to flip this sucker over. We're going to weld all the tops up. Uh, we'll probably stand it on ends to weld the edges, and uh, we'll get the tank set on it and start doing some plumbing. What do you think, Andy? Yep. more pipe work done added a stub here to, uh, just for a little extra support so you have your on off valve all the time a couple of clamps here we'll clamp this pipe down to this piece of pipe uh, then this is the T we'll just drill we'll get this all tightened down and we'll drill holes in here to make kind of a spray bar it'll just be a gravity feed deal um, I suppose you could pressurize the tank or you could add a pump in the middle here somehow but we'll just do gravity feed for now see if that works see if it's a total failure Stay tuned. So, um, got this on Quick Connect. I got this for Quick Connect, so you can just swap them out. So you can just have uh, just have a water source. So, we'll get going on uh, getting this mounted down with some straps. I got to go to the store and get some of those tomorrow, and some D-ring hooks. And I think we'll probably add some extra D-ring hooks just to make it super easy to grab places to tie it down. So. Back at her this morning, uh, we added the stub. Got her welded on. We added a couple of clamps so that this sucker is solid. Uh, I got this pipe ready to go. I got it uh, marked so that I can drill out little holes to water to get out. Um, I did every two inches and I'm going to do, I don't know, like a quarter inch hole. Um, start small, we can always go bigger. Hopefully that's not too much, but you know, you want a good bit of water to come out. So um, I got this thing welded on here. So then this is just. This piece can always be with it. We don't have to wonder where it is. We put the spin nut on the top or the quick attach nut on the top. So that's welded on there. Oh, so then never wonder where did I put that? So valves on here, ready to go. Uh, I'm just gonna go head out and get some D-rings and some ratchet straps that'll be permanently affixed to this. And uh, we're just about ready to rock. Sound right, boy. Yeah. 
Got the bar on there, it's not real tight, but just got the, the what I'm calling the quick disconnect thing on there. Uh, not tight. We'll have to do something, you know, maybe just like a simple ratchet strap up and over when you're using it, because I think there's going to be too much of this. Um, we'll go over rough terrain at times too, so I think it'd be important to have some support because we don't want everything twisted on the plastic back there. Uh, we got this thing welded on there, so you got your spare. Dealing about there. I guess I could have just done a T somewhere along here, and then I could have just always had this spout, but we'll be able to just, just have that. So, quarter turn. If you want to let a little in, let a little out. And then when you don't need it, just go down here. Tighten it down, see that other way. Ratchet straps on. I got to bolt it through here. Uh, and then we just cut them short, took the old lighter, and uh, melted the end so that it shouldn't fray anymore. And a nice large zip tie holding it down so that shouldn't come apart. Big valve, open, close. There's a big hole in the top, obviously, to fill it. So, uh, ice box tubing, four holes in it. And I figured out that I've got my case loader that we'll be pulling the pull-behind roller with that vibrates. This, and I, I converted that to quick tatch. You can see that in one of my other videos. Uh, we'll be able to carry this on the forks if we wanted to, and we could water out front, and then we could have the roller hooked on out back, and then that would, you know, give you your water and your compaction. Um, we'll see how much water these holes put out. Um, I didn't want to go huge and find out this thing drains in like half a minute. So unless you're driving really fast, that would be inconvenient. So eighth inch for now. Uh, I think it turned out pretty sweet. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like, comment if you got any better ideas, little little tricks, trip, tip, 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 tricks and tips. Got a little starting problem. I also welded on the D rings there, so it's easy to strap it down. You know, you'd be able to hook to this too, but just wanted to give it as many options as possible. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me you think I'm handsome. Tell me you think I'm an idiot. See you on the next one.